I got this mocha pot and I got it from my mother-in-law. It is quite old and I'm not really sure how old it is. It says it's made in Italy. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see it there. There it is. Puerto Rico, made in Italy. And I just watched the video. I, be, I made some coffee in here. I've been making uh, Cuban coffee on the weekends. But I just watched the video on cleaning your mocha pot that I didn't know. And now I'm going to take this apart and clean it because the person said you might be surprised what you find inside. I ordered these uh, replacement gaskets. And there's actually a little replacement filter in here too for mocha pots. <clears throat> what I needed to do is I measured the outside diameter from the outside of this ring to the outside over here on this side and it came out to two and a half inches and that's how I knew what size gasket to order. So I'm going to go ahead, I have a fine jewelers type screwdriver, if you can see that, because I didn't want to go jamming something in here that was going to maybe puncture it or make a big problem. I didn't want to use a knife blade because if these don't work, I want to make sure that I can kind of put this back together so I can still use it until I get the right gasket. So despite my best efforts, this gasket completely gave out on me. A little history, this I got this from my mother-in-law, like I said, and this thing is probably from the early 70s, and it may have never gotten the gasket changed. And you can see there's quite a bit of buildup around here. The back side of it's pretty gross also. And there's a really, so I'm gonna have to do some scrubbing on this cause it's pretty gross. So I'm gonna get that scrubbed up and make it safe for human consumption. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the new gasket in. So it came up quite a bit better than it was, but it's still got some, I don't know, it's maybe corrosion but uh, I did figure out when it's from. It's got a date in the bottom, 1971, and I guess it's got a model number in there. Uh, I did check that the new gasket, like I said, two and a half inch outside diameter is gonna work fine, and you can see the width is probably the same. Uh, I am gonna replace this screen right here with this one. Look like a Looks like a pretty suitable replacement. Uh, and if it doesn't, I'll just put the original back in after I clean it up real good. And I probably, I read some things, should you or should you not put any kind of uh, lubricant on here? I think I, I got some food grade uh, mineral oil that I use on cutting boards like this one. So I think I'll put a little bit of that on there and then I'll get it all seated and uh, I'll give it a shot to see how it turns out. So it went in just fine. Everything looks like it fits good. Uh, the old one was a little caved in and it's got some corrosion or something on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I got it back together and I'm gonna go ahead and brew a pot of coffee. Let's see how it turns out. All right, well, it's brewing. It didn't leak out the bottom like it had been. And there it goes. Turn that heat off. I just brew this one. It was kind of a, a light on coffee. I just wanted to get it, uh, get the gasket saturated. But anyway, it looks like it's back in business. Like I said, it was leaking pretty bad down there. Solve the mystery of what year it was made. So if you're curious, if you have an old uh, family mocha pot or espresso pot and you want to take it apart you can find out what year it was 1971 and uh looks like it's back in business